सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम दिस वीडियो इज इन कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज ब्रिज प्रिपरेशन पार्ट वन एंड पार्ट टू सो इन दिस वीडियो अदर देन एक दिस विल ट्राई टू कम्प्लीट ऑल अदर इक्विपमेंट्स फॉर ब्रिज प्रिपरेशन देन हियर इज आर पायरो टेक्निक्स विच आर देर सो मेक श्योर योर पायरो टेक्निक्स दे आर नॉट एक्सपायर एक्सपायरी डेट एंड पिक्टोरियल डायग्राम्स ऑफ द इंस्ट्रक्शन दिस मस्ट बी देर इफ दे आर फेडिंग अवे इफ दे आर फेडेड अवे then you have to ask for new and count the numbers which are, which is required so make sure you have proper numbers then one more thing about the requirement is that whatever you are having in your drawers like if you have life jacket immersion suit rocket parachute lta whatever you have in your drawers anywhere on your drawers and bridge it shall be properly marked with imo symbols and the numbering how many do you have inside your drawers for example as you can see inside this drawers we have life jacket and the number is 3 so we have three life jacket same goes for this rocket parachute we have rocket parachute and those are of 12 numbers same for immersion suit so both of these are important the numbers is also important and the imo symbol is also important so here you can see we have immersion suit that's why we have kept number these were the rocket parachute which are there so and these are our life jacket which are num which are present so all these things you must check on your bridge also there must be a spare magnetic compass present on your bridge so as you can see this has been a requirement that the spare magnetic compass shall be kept upside down to avoid any damage on its card so that's why you can see our spare magnetic compass is kept upside down because if wetting inspector is asking you where is your wet uh, spare magnetic compass he will definitely look for this whether you have kept it upside down or it is kept in in a normal position so it is it shall always be kept in upside down and make sure you don't have bubble inside this also check for bubble in your spare magnetic compass as well also on your bridge you must have a spare liquid to fill in your magnetic compass in case if you have bubbles in your magnetic compass if you have that liquid make sure you also have the msds for that liquid next is your emergency steering whichever is your emergency steering it shall be marked properly either it can be dimo tape it is marked over here as you can see next thing is your bridge window wipers the condition of bridge window wipers shall be good they shall not be in damaged condition all the rubber blades which are there these rubber blade make sure that those rubber blades are good and if they are damaged if you have spare replace them because it is also in remark that bridge window wipers were not in good condition the blades were damaged the next thing is your nav lights actually they would ask actually any inspector or psc would come they would ask you to switch on all your lights and they would go out on bridge wing and they will check whether your all lights are working or not so you must check whether your uh, all lights are okay there is no light which is fused other thing is in nav lights there is a test which is fuse test so normally in normally psc won't ask for that but a wetting inspector normally can ask you to do a fuse test for any nav light for example if it tells you to do a fuse test for port side lower light make sure first your power is switched on and you have switched to low so then in here it will be marked like which light which fuse is for which light for example it says that port side low light is these fuse so you shall take out those fuse and then you will hear an alarm so you can see there is an alarm which and the light is flickering so so that means our fuse test is okay so this you must be able to demonstrate to the wetting inspector then next comes the course recorder in course recorder just ensure that the both needles are matching the quadrant and the particular heading from the gyro make sure it is properly signed for the arrival port and that's it now next we'll talk about the imo publication or bridge publications which are required to be carried on board so with respect to the publications required by the imo 
there is a circular msc mepc2 slash circular2 you can download this circular from the google now in this circular i would just point out two or three important details which we must remember firstly they have mentioned that the publications like solas marpol international load line colreg or stcw these publications are present on board just to enhance the knowledge of crew and also to help in implementation of following regulation hence psc cannot detain or put an observation if we do not have following regulation unless it is mentioned in our ship safety management manual that means if your company does not ask you to keep this if in your company sms your qhsc manual if in your qhsc manual it is not mentioned that you must carry these publication psc cannot put an observation for this you can read this circular secondly in this circular there is an appendix and in this appendix they have only listed out these five or six publications which are to be carried on board but as you can see over here this is not a complete list and of course on board our ship we have much more than these publications which are mentioned over here but you must read the last line over here publication required by the ism code and in this here they have mentioned required publication are those specifically mentioned to be carried by the ship's sms manual again it comes down to your ship specific or company specific manual that is sms manual in your sms manual they must have mentioned which all publications are required i'll attach a list of the publications which are required by my company so for reference you can have them thirdly the most important detail in this publication is this international code of signal and imsr volume 3 these two publications are to be in hard copy other co other publications can be in soft copy or electronic copy but these two publications must be in hard copy you can read this over here they have put double asterisk mark here you can read these publication for emergency use should always be available on board ship in the form of hard copy this they have told only about these two copy international code of signal and i am sir volume 3 also in addition to msc dash mepc 2 circular 2 you can definitely go and read your own ships flag state circular like for example this is a marshall island circular your ship can be of any other registered flag you can read those circulars as well in those circular also you might get few hints which all publications are required so again if you will read this is based on the same circular itself you can check that the marshall island or any other good flag state they will always base their circulars based on imo circular only but here if i'll come down in this appendix you can read that they have mentioned that these publication must be carried on registered marshall island flag vessels you can read them hence it's always better to read your company's sms manual and in your company sms manual they must have list of publications which are to be required and they'll definitely include these publications they'll definitely include them and there will be much more than these publications now lastly with respect to the inspector what do they look normally they would definitely ask these two publication international code of signals and imsr volume 3 they will check which is the edition which you have on board and thereafter they would not go and check individual publication that's not uh, possible for them and it's too cumbersome for them also that they will come and check each publication so what they normally do is this is the normal pattern that they will come and ask the latest publication for example when i was second mate during that time they were asking okay show us your imdg code publication what is the edition which you have and show us because during that time IMDG code was revised. Thereafter IMSR volume 3 was also revised during my time. So they would just come and ask me okay show us your IMSR volume 3. In a same manner at present while I am making this video there is a new edition of bridge procedure guide. Edition number 4 has come. So they would just come and okay show us your uh, BPG guide edition 4. Or whether you have the latest update or not. So normally they come and ask the latest publication which has been revised and which is required to be carried on board. They would not go and check individual publication. The next thing is logbook. What all things we have to check in our logbooks. 
so in your deck log book make sure you have all of these entries with which i have written it down make sure whenever you are changing your course position shall be there in each watch hand steering ride out position shall be there gps hdop value gyro error if you are taking that thing shall be recorded watch keeping level if you are at anchor at sea those things shall be there fireman round taken this is normally def this is definitely checked by the wetting inspector whether you are recording the fireman round or not fireman round taken by the ab and the officer vhf communication log so normally nowadays what they have done is most of the companies have included vhf radar performance log everything in the tech log book itself if you have a separate log book then you must check in your separate log book otherwise if you have in same log if you have same everything included in your deck log book make sure that your vhf communication is being recorded for each port arrival and departure your radar performance standard if it is there present in your deck log book itself then this also must be checked so for example as you can see over here our radar performance standard is being recorded in the log book itself hence every watch we are recording this so make sure this is being recorded fireman safety rounds fire safety and security rounds are being recorded over here so we are writing that also so hdop values or your value of dop shall be recorded in your log book in each watch this thing must be recorded it has been checked by wetting inspectors then next thing is position of hand steering in each watch you must mention that you have tried out your autopilot for example you can see vessel on autopilot hand steering tried out from this time to this time in position this this must be recorded for each watch this has been checked also when you do alteration of course when you are altering a course that also must be recorded in your log book so for example as you can see over here course 86086086064 this course was altered either you can write down the course over here itself that you have altered course and you can write down the position or if you have written in your in your hourly log that is also acceptable as you can see 1025 altered course at this particular position this must be written time and position when you write out hand steering time and position when you have altered your course same thing over here randomly the wetting inspectors normally look for this whether you have written the course alteration or not so make sure you are writing that same thing goes for your vhf communication there have been many remarks that people haven't written their vhf communication with the port when they were when they were arriving to the port so this is a normal observation that uh, anybody can ask you when you were arriving to port didn't you make any reports to the port while arrival and departure or requesting to pilots or or transmitting your eta to the coast station make sure everybody has signed after their watch because it happens most uh, sometime that somebody has skipped the sign make sure master and chief officer signs are present in your deck log book so only these things are been looked after in your deck log book not more than that and normally that they would look for uh, normally if an old inspector is there they would look for your crew list crew list shall be present in your deck log book copy of crew list then next comes your comes your maneuvering log or bell book as we call it so for that also i have written the entries these entries must be present in your bell book these are minimum entries so you can pause the video and you can read all the entries then in your gmds's log book make sure the first page is filled with the person who is in charge of gmds's who is in charge of gmds's emergency communication then your monthly test whenever you are doing your monthly test of ipop sart and vhf that also must. what is the last week at least a second officer or the person who is in charge of gmds's must know when was the last week when you have done your monthly test or weekly test or when did you received your post station when did you receive acknowledgement on your mfhf at least that last uh, acknowledgement shall be properly marked so that it is easy for you to identify that you receive the acknowledgement from the co station so as you can see over here this was the last or recent most recent one which we have got the acknowledgement from co station so we have marked it down at least in your one month there shall be one record of safety message received urgency message received distress message received most probably if distress message is not received it's still acceptable but urgency safety message 
shall be recorded at least once in a month not every watch but at least once in a month if you are showing that uh, you are receiving urgency coach uh, safety messages then it is still acceptable there have been some masters who would like you to uh, record for every watch that no alerts received or something like this that shall be recorded in every watch there is no such requirement you don't need to record anything for every watch but at least in one month you make sure that you are writing your distress and safety message and urgency message so next is our compass error lock so in your compass error there are two three things which you must look after first is that your deviation whatever is your deviation as per that heading that deviation must match with your deviation card on what heading what was the deviation as it was recorded in the card the same deviation must match over here you don't have to forcefully uh, try to adjust it but it should be near to that it is not possible that in your card it is showing 0.5 degree east and here you are showing 0.1 degree west then if it is so then you might need to recalibrate or readjust your magnetic compass second is if your deviation exceeds more than 5 degree uh, then you must inform this to master and then to company and they might send a technician to adjust your magnetic compass thirdly if it is required if it is possible try to get the observations from leading light if you are maintaining your gyro error or magnetic compass error from your leading light it gives a good impression to the any incoming inspector or any uh, cdi inspector that uh, that these people are religiously taking the errors so that must be there now with respect to the shape signals present on bridge make sure that you have one cylinder shape then three balls and one diamond shape these must be marked and kept on bridge and their inventory shall be taken and they shall be properly checked once at least once you join on board check how is their condition that's it regarding the publication there one more there is one more thing if you are having digital publication for example enp publications if those are digital make sure whichever volume or whichever publication enp which is applicable for your voyage those must be updated and though there must be a valid permit for them same thing goes for your adp digital publication lrfs volume 1 2 3 4 6 make sure all of them are up to date to the present week so every week make sure all of these are updated if you have these digital publication if you have a paper publication also make sure those are updated because randomly the inspector can ask you to show any one publication and he can confirm from here whether that is updated to the present week or not thing in your radar make sure your transmission time if you will press this tx also then also you can see this is a shortcut to watch the transmission time make sure this transmission time is not exceeded which is required as per the maker for example this requires 7000 hours and same goes for the other radar also if i'll press the standby button it will that's a shortcut to see the transmission time this we have just renewed the magnetron and it, the transmission time is only 161 hours so you check for these hours also your site register make sure you have at least one site in your last month or in your last voyage whichever is earlier make sure you record at least one site if it is uh, if it is possible then make sure all the duty officer has one one site or at least make sure there is one site for the previous month or for the previous voyage next in book make sure your np133c if you are having egg this on board then make sure your one np133c is fully updated and uh, it signed by master and by second officer for this i have made a separate video you can check out how to how to fill this log there is a separate video for this but make sure this is updated so all your navtex warnings nav area warning weather forecast or any piracy message make sure that all of them are signed by all the duty officers and also by master all bridge duty officers and master must sign all of these now lastly we'll see outside bridge so this is my battery room make sure you also have a check in your battery room so outside battery room make sure you have a sticker like this ventilate prior entry and also danger battery acid inside
so this also must be present also make sure you have these items present safety shield chemical goggles chemical gloves apron eye wash these must be present in your battery room as we are the in charge so make sure we have to check that also check the expiry of your emergency eye wash ensure that it is not expired the bottle is not opened ensure all these things Now there is one more requirement that this battery room vent it shall be always open we don't need to close this vent other vents we can close but not this vent also ensure that prior going to monkey island this marking must be there that inform duty officer prior going to monkey island this marking must be present near to the staircase so once you come on the monkey island make sure all these markings must be present whichever vent it is it shall be marked whichever antenna it is it shall be marked below it and also those markings which are present on antenna these markings also you must check and the condition or damage or rust the cables radiation hazard this marking must be present near your vsat also there is a radiation hazard marking which is on the mfhf antenna then vdr capsule that shall be marked and uh, if it has an expiry that shall be marked so this you can see over here this is also radiation hazard which is on the mfhf antenna which is marked so you have to check the condition as well once you come over here check the markings and check their condition of the antenna so that's it with this video thank you